hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. But today I'm taking an introduction look, introduction look, a brief look at the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. And this is it. It's basically a mobile phone gimbal. And it's the uh, current version, it's their latest version. Uh, next up up from a mobile 2, which kind of makes sense. I have no idea why I said that. Um, but what makes this one clever is it's a foldable design. So apparently that makes it really compact. Um, it is compact, but it's not, well, I haven't got a pocket here. It's not really sort of stick it in your pocket sort of compact. Uh, but it does come with a little pouch, uh, which I've, no, yeah, there it is, a little Osmo pouch. Uh, that's, uh, that's quite nifty, but it's only, well, I, I think I got it for, 100 quid, 110 quid, something like that. So it's really, really cheap. Well, I suppose I should say cost effective, but it does fold down. And the clever thing is clip it back up and you just drop your phone in, make sure the camera's pointing in the right direction and you have a really, really useful gimbal. Um, and I've been using it with my uh, iPhone uh, XR um, I haven't tried it with my iPhone SE yet and my Galaxy phone, um, but uh, yeah, it's got many, many features. And I'm gonna go through the actual features in a uh, second video. And I wanna do a comparison between the Osmo Mobile 3 and my absolutely awesome uh, uh, Osmo Pocket. Yeah, the Osmo Pocket, which is actually filming the wide shot. Um, and the reason why I can't connect my phone to this today is simply because I'm using my phone with a DJI, DJI Mimo app, and you see it there, and that's connected to my Osmo Pocket. It's the same app that runs the um, uh, mobile, for, gee, God, all these names, the mobile three as it does the Osmo Pocket. And you can see there, I'm using it, and it's actually got a joystick control on the, for the Osmo Pocket anyway, a joystick control on here, so I can move a camera around. Awesome, absolutely fantastic. You can flip it as well. So I can change um, camera angles, um, you know, if I really so wanted to, et cetera, et cetera, with the Osmo Pocket. Um, this works great with the uh, DJI, DJI Mobile 3 and uh, very well balanced, it seems, but it works with even the big phones as well as the small phones. Um, the battery lasts apparently for 15 hours, well, 12 to 15 hours, and you can char charge your phone while you're actually uh, using the uh, gimbal because it has got USB out point as well as a USB-C in charging point. Um, nice grip, you know, really, really good grip. Trigger on the front for certain functions. Um, which I will go through when I actually do the review on the actual Mobile 3. So there you go, that's the DJI Mobile 3. Um, as I say, it locks into place when you're not, uh, when you're not using it, just clips into place. Well, I'm still having, well, that one's clipped into place that way. I'm still having a few hassles myself trying to, ah, that's it, got it, right. I mean, that locks into place. So that's, that's you can, yeah, you can hear it clicking into place. So. That's a nice compact, um, you know, gimbal. It's not as compact as the DJI Osmo Pocket by any stretch of imagination. And the nice thing with a Pocket, it's got its own camera built into it. So an entire gimbal, camera, monitor, everything built into the unit. Um, and you can plug the, you know, via the Wi-Fi adapter, you can use a phone such as this, um, or you can just plug the phone directly into it. So I think you can see where I'm, where I'm leading here. I will probably use the Osmo Pocket more than I use the um, Mobile 3 because it is pocketable, you shove it in your pocket. Um, and it's a lot smaller than this. So if you're gonna shove this in your pocket, you might as well shove the Osmo Pocket. Because the curious thing is with one of these is that the minute you put your phone on it, well, then you can't use your phone, can you? <laughs> so, you know, this is a lot heavier than the mobile pocket, the Osmo pocket. So, um, but, you know, I'm always open-minded. I want to try different things. This may have features that the Osmo pocket doesn't have. It could well be the cameras on your mobile phone are going to produce better images than what the Osmo pocket does, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, um, I bought it because I wanted to, you know, 
try all that. Um, now, the main camera today is my brand new Canon M6 Mark II. It's not the camera I would normally use. I normally use my Z6s, Nikon Z6s, um, for a number of reasons. A, I never had the M6 Mark II before, um, but the M6 Mark II does a few curious things uh, that I'll explain in a, another video. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a great little camera though. Really, really good little camera. And you know, that's filming the main shot. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't got many lenses for it because it's an M mount system. Um, so I've got fitted to it my 22 mil lens F2, which is basically a 35 mil lens. Uh, I wanted to see if I'd get some bokeh, but you won't do it with a wide angle lens because it makes bleeding an obvious sense that you wouldn't. But it's definitely picking up my face. I can see on my monitor, the box around my face, the dual pixel autofocus on the M6 Mark II is great and it works in 4K, unlike the M50, which doesn't. So I'll cover all that in another video. But yeah, that is the um, very, very sort of quick introduction look to the DJI Mobile, uh, not Mobile, yeah, Mobile 3. That's it. Not the Osmo Pocket, that's filming the other angle. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, you know, I get so confused with modern numbers and kit numbers and whatever, um, and Mark IIs, Mark Threes, and all the rest of it. So there we go. It's an age thing, maybe. I don't know. Um, this, by the way, does have a tripod mount on the bottom of the Osmo Mobile 3, so you know you can quite happily mount it on a tripod. I don't know why I'm doing it now, but there we go. I am. So there we go. That mounts on there quite quite nifty. No problem at all to sit on a sit there. Um, so once again for watching, and hope you enjoy my content. Uh, I enjoy making these videos, and it makes it well worthwhile if you subscribe if you like the content, and uh, please subscribe um, if you like the channel and hit the like button. So thanks very much. See you soon. Bye.